Can you use the M2 MacBook Air as your only video editing computer? Let's dig in and figure it out. My name is Kapil. Welcome back to Dig with Geek. Disclaimer, I'm not using the base model. I'm using a little bumped up model with 8 core CPU, 10 core GPU, 16 GB RAM and 1 TB internal SSD. I've already started iStatX to monitor CPU temperature and CPU performance and results. I have also started Activity Monitor to monitor CPU and GPU usage along with memory and swap usage. So these two apps are already running in background along with it. I am also doing a screen recording, so it is also running in background. Since screen recording is running in background, it is also going to consume some CPU and GPU. So do consider that. I usually edit all my videos on my external SSD. I am using a 1TB Crucial X8 SSD. But for this particular test, what I am going to do is I am going to copy whole this whole project on the internal SSD of the MacBook Air so that we can see the actual performance so that it's not affected by an external SSD. So come on, let's copy it on the local drive first. So this is the project Boya BM Boya PM500. I'm just copying it on the desktop. Okay, it's copied. So now I will just eject this disk. I'm ejecting the external SSD. This is ejected. I will keep it aside. Now let's start Final Cut Pro. So let's set up a new library and a new project in Final Cut Pro. Moya PM500 is the library name and then Let's set up a new project, Boya PM500 4K 50 frames. Now let's import the files. I'll just import the whole directory. And it's imported already. Now I need to synchronize this clips because basically this is a project where I'm reviewing a Boya PM500 microphone. So what I have done is I recorded the audio with the main camera. It's using a Rode microphone and along with it, I have recorded audio even using that microphone on directly on my Mac. So I need to synchronize these two clips. So let's synchronize them. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. That was quick. Okay, I will disable this particular. Okay, I have disabled the other audio clip. I will enable it later on for video. No, okay now, but before I proceed, I'm since this video has been shot using green screen, I need to apply Luma key. Sorry, I mean keyer. Because I need to remove the green screen and I need to even add a good background to it. See, all of this actually takes a lot of resources, but this is running just too smooth. Okay, here it is. And now I will just adjust its size. Okay, now let's go to editing. And uh, we are, I need to enable the audio. Okay, I even need to use some audio analysis. Let's see how fast it processes it. Wow, that was quick. Then let's apply some bass boost to make the voice a little heavy. One, two, three. Hey everyone, welcome back, Kapil here. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dig with K, Kapil here. Today I am going to talk about... Hey everyone, welcome... Okay, hey everyone, let's make a few back. cuts. Dig with K, Kapil here. Today I am going to talk about Boya PM500 microphone. 
It's a desktop USB C or USB microphone. And yeah, one more thing, I need to even apply some color grading to it. So I'm using a preset actually for it. I will just put it on it. Let's see how fast it processes it. Wow, that was quick. Did you notice? To dig with K, couple here. And see the CPU temperature is just 42 degree. Let's see activity monitor. Uh, it's using was the memory memory usage it's using 7.86 GB of memory and 300 MB of swap actually swap usage is not required but that's how system works and that's not cheap for new youtubers actually and that's not a scale good result or actually or I can say acceptable result okay let's make a few cuts and see how it works don't worry i won't make you sit for the whole video editing because that's going to take a lot of time i'm not a professional video editor but let's put in a few cuts uh, this is an eight minute clip i'm not doing full editing for you let me apply a few text preset to it and see okay i think enough done for editing okay let me even add some background music i will just use one of the downloaded ones why waste your time uh, let's lower its volume okay let's see hey everyone welcome back to dig with k couple here today i am going to okay fine i will just export it so that you guys can actually see how long does it takes to export a 4k clip where i'm using a green screen make please do understand green screen actually takes a lot of resources because it has to do a lot of processing when i'm using a green screen so basically it's like a layer of multiple clips that it has to export and not only this i even added a few text effects in it and audio also um, basically audio processing is also done directly over here and i even done color grading using a preset so all these things are done now let's export it i am going to now export in mp4 format 4k h2.64 encode oh, save only next same directory save let's see how long does it takes okay i've started a stopwatch i will just fast oh, i will just fast forward it and show you the result directly CPU temper like the temperature keeps going down. Memory usage is under 13 GB. But I can say like the overall editing experience was smooth. I had zero lag or stutter anywhere. Did you guys notice any kind of stuttering anything at all? I am like it may not be multiple clips, but the green screen itself gives it a like a, enough load, multi clip like of load on it. So the editing, as far as editing is concerned, it was like very smooth, no issues at all. If your temperature is under 50, like it goes, oh now it even went down to 38 degree, 37 degree right now. And it's not hot, let me see. It's okay, well, it's a little uh, hot, you can feel it, but it's fine, I mean, it's manageable. You may feel like a little uh, warm if you're keeping it on a lap, but on a table it's fine. And it's not overheating as you can see, it's just staying under 50 degree. 4 minutes, 24 seconds and 30% done.
so it's 14 minutes 35 seconds and 91 percent completed so i think it should be completed by 16 minutes and 100 percent done and it took 16 minutes 10 seconds it took almost 16 minutes 10 seconds or 15 seconds to complete or export a project of about eight minutes so what i can say is that the editing part was very good there was no lag no stutters nothing you yourself saw it there was no issue at all but i think the exports actually took a bit longer uh, i don't remember the exact time but i think on my m1 pro it should have been completed in under 10 minutes so maybe five minutes so not five minutes under 10 minutes but yeah 16 minutes it took it definitely took longer to export but see how many times do you export you edit the video once and then you run the export command and you don't keep waiting over there wait for the export to complete so overall i can say it's not a bad machine if you are not like a very big pro video editor for a person like me at least who makes uh, like four three or four videos per week i am very happy with this kind of results i have no issues at all i already have a M uh, m1 pro macbook pro but even this is like I, I can say quite good let me know what are your thoughts and comments and make sure to like this video do subscribe to the channel and also if you want me to make a similar video or a comparison video of uh, like this m2 air with m1 pro let me know i will make a video on that as well thank you have a great day bye bye